Fuck that. All right, so let's get on to the business, bro, skis. You know what I'm saying? This week, uh, we getting into our hip-hop mixtape reviews. Reviews. Goddamn right, naggers. So anyway, uh, Young Thug drops a, a compilation for his Stoner Life Records. Right, right. Uh, it's called Slime. Slime Language. Uh, everybody give it a round of from the initial impressions. Pell. Um, I didn't want to listen to it. Still didn't want to listen to it. I wasn't excited at all. It, 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 I wasn't. Will, initial impressions. Hope it ain't like that last mixtape. You didn't like the last mixtape. Was it that one? Yes. Oh, I had to mix up something else then. <laughs> so, my bad. Uh, give me a highs and lows, Will. You loved it. I actually did like this shit. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. Y'all actually did like this shit. I, I told you you were going to like it. Then yeah, I, I, I told I, you last time we did the show. I, I said I, the nigga I had was. A little bit. So. It was bassy. You know what I'm saying? It was really easy, melodic. Uh, it, was, it wasn't yeah, really bad. Then you can actually understand what the nigga was saying. What the nigga was saying? I mean, no. the hooks wasn't that bad. There were, there were times when he was inaudible. Oh, but yeah, it wasn't, all right. I'm not, it wasn't the I'm end of the world. Say, I'm not sitting to say the whole thing either. That shit wasn't like, you could understand what he was saying. This shit. This shit actually, yeah. I didn't enjoy it. I didn't enjoy it. It wasn't you know, the end of the world for me. Uh, Phil, highs and lows. It was cool. I ain't gonna say it was great. It's a feature on every single song. I think my favorite song on the album was the joint with Jacquees. Mm. Um, the, it's called January first. Do y'all want to interview? I mean, not interview. Y'all want to review Jacquees's album that came out like a couple weeks ago? I'm with that, but you know, Lloyd dropped too. He just dropped some shit too. Lloyd dropped the whole new album. Oh, all right, then we're both. <laughs> we're both <laughs> um, but um. Like you said, it was some parts that were inaudible. Um, it was like so. I feel like Young Thug to me is is either hit or miss. He's either it's, it's either really good or it's really bad. Right. And it's just like this joint was like <laughs> it was like half was really good. You liked it. like, it's like half was really don't good. Hate it's, don't like half do was, shit all it's like half was really good. And the other half was like, why is why does this why does this exist? Why is this here? Yeah, like what why does this even exist? Like again, Young Doug is a real hit and miss for me, but that's my idea. Um I will have to agree with Will. I really enjoyed this album. Um the the production was really high value here. Um I loved him on this project. My problem with a lot of the features. I really wasn't the biggest fan of some of these features. They weren't polished enough. Um, some of them were just rambling and talking. Obviously, they've been hanging around little baby a little bit. So like that talk rap flow thing. Some some niggas think that that's the shit, and it's really not. Um, the downside. There is a downside. There is a sharp downside. Is that because there are a number of records on this project. Once you get past. Even once you get to that seventh song, eighth song, it, it becomes so fucking annoying, bro. Like it becomes it's like, and I got to a point where I'm listening to it on a job site. So I don't I'm not going nowhere. It's not the end of the damn day. But I'm just like, uh, it, it's like almost like every hook starts to sound the same, every verse starts to sound the same. You know what I'm saying? It just starts to get annoying. And it starts to get to a point where I'm just like, oh, just, just shut the fuck, just shut. Just shut, just shut the fuck up. And I just, just how it got, it got to me. It just got annoying. Um, but salute, if, if you were to take that last half of the album out of it and, you know, gave it another project to itself, I probably would love them records. But I think it's just the vibe just wears you out. You know what I'm saying? That constant, because the damn production is constant. It's the same tempo the entire album. Let's keep you up. It was keeping you there. It was keeping you coked up. I wasn't coked up. I'm dead sober. I'm working. It's just that my and sweat. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
What could have been done better? Shorten it. Shorten it, definitely. But I really feel like there should have been changes in the production at some point. Something to kind of bring me back in. There were some times where the beat was switched up and it would be great, but huh? A skit would have worked. Yes, something like that. Something to kind of like re-engage me, to refresh me, to make me, you know, get back in. It just got to a point where it just got annoying. And then it, once it starts getting annoying, then I don't care how creative you are. You just turn the fuck off. So uh, with that being said, shout out to them. Uh, let's get to the high. Uh, let's get into rating this between one and five bikes. Yeah. Excuse me. Um, lurks between one and five mics. Pill. I give it a try. Will. Two eight. Ooh, two five. So let's talk about the production between one and five mics. Will. Three. Three point five. And pill. Three. Three. Okay, let's talk about the Florida project, how one song flows into the next in relation to the whole project. I'll give it two. Will? I, I will go to three. It flowed very well for me. Uh, let's talk about the artwork on the project, how it relates to the music. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, right there. Uh, no, little no hands for sign language. Give it a one. You just got the loose line coming down. I All right, I'll go with that as well. Definitely giving it a three. Uh, let's talk about the overall project between one and five mics. Will I'm gonna go with a two point eight. Phil, I'm gonna give it a overall. I'm gonna give it. I give it a two point five. Okay, that's what's up. Um, don't forget. Oh, excuse me. Is this hip hop? No, this is rap. You agree? Disagree? Yeah. All right. Does this have any replay value? Will? Obviously, yes. A little bit. Phil? No. And I'm never listening to this again. Would you recommend this to a friend? No. Sure. I'm not exactly sure who I would recommend this to. I I'm not saying that this is unrecommendable, but. I mean, but. If not, you're a young thug fan, you already know it. So. Right. It's not one of them joints up on the streets and brag about that. Oh, did you hear that? That slide language yeah, like, eight or whatever the hell this was. <laughs> all right, all right, uh, here we go. Uh, 